We need, we need to know that they, there's a tragedy going on right now, you know, there might not be a flood, but there's a tragedy, people are starving, people are dying, people are committing suicide because of debt and poverty and hunger, and um, so, you know, we need to bring that, that spirit that came with the floods, without the flood. I'd like to see more people come off the street giving their voices. Maybe if the government thought getting somebody off the street to work with them, they might go further than what they're doing now. It's the same with everything. If someone hasn't been through something, they don't understand it. So if government was to train people that have been homeless, you know, drug addicts, um, you know, these people have been through this uh, and I reckon it will be a lot more beneficial for different counties all over the country. If they all started doing it, they'd have a better chance at creating a better community. To get a full understanding, if you get people that have had to work hard at life and, and get to where they're at, through being where they were, that's a, we can then educate the educated, so to speak, so that they can then help more people and getting a, a good team together in each town, not just in one town, in each town, getting these people together, I can only see it growing and growing and growing. And people trust people that have been there. Right, you get somebody with a, with, that's got education, um, and all, all these bits on paper, right? If they've not had the experience, they really, really don't know what they're talking about. Set up facilities where people can, um, you know, get the help and support what they need to to, to move forward in their lives and that. And, and obviously, something close to my heart there's um, so much sofa surfing and homelessness, and there's so many empty flats in town, and, and there's empty buildings that could be converted. Into, into flats for the homeless and, and you could even use, get the homeless to convert them and train them up at the same time. Um, if, um, if I go my, over my uh, agreed limit in my bank account then I'll get uh, charged from the bank. Um, I may get charged from a company for a direct debit not being covered. Um, if you need to use your emergency gas or electric you get charged uh, £2 automatically. Um, and there's, there's, there's so, so many things where you know the poor get charged and penalised for being poor. I'd ask them what they were going to do with all the empty buildings that could go for homeless people and people that are struggling and going to end up homeless. I could take you for a walk through Halifax Town now and introduce you at least 20 people that are homeless or sofa surfing as such. But there are people sleeping in shop bins, you know, around the back of the building. 